are at the end of 2023 and there's definitely going to be a lot of big games coming in 2024. But in this video, I'm not talking about a good game coming in 2024, but I give you some recommendation for military strategy games that you can play in 2024. Here are the top 12 best military strategy games you can play in 2024. Naval Art Naval Art is a sandbox game that combines design, construction, physics, and combat. In this game, you can design your own warship, equip them with a variety of armament, and bring them out to the ocean. The game offers players a variety of experiences in different stages. Players will play as designer, engineer, and commander, respectively, and guide their fleets through the age of steel and nerve. Call to Arms Call to Arms is a real-time tactics and strategy video game developed by the German company Digital Mindsoft. It's the spiritual successor to the Man of War series. It sets in the game time of modern warfare and offers realistically modeled vehicles and heavy weaponry. You can create your own mods on the game, take over each soldier and control them in a third-person view as well as first-person. The game has no limits. Unlike the preview series, Battlefield 2042 is only multiplayer and support cross-platform games. In addition, the class system was significantly revamped and removed the four specific classes from the previous game. Instead, players could take over the control of a specialist who is under the four traditional Battlefield gameplay classes, Assault, Engineer, Medic, and Recon. Each operator has its own unique skill and gadget. In the game, you can ask for vehicles to be dropped from the air to any locations and adjust the weapons in place. Round 50 meters from my position. Rule the wave three. Rule the Wave 3 is a naval simulation game developed by Naval Warfare Simulations and published by Slytherin LTD. You will play the role of Admiral of the Navy, design and build your Navy ship, manage the fleet, and engage in a naval warfare from 1890 to 1970. You must manage your naval budget, handle the interventions of the Kaiser, the President or the Minister of the Navy as well as various historical events including the Naval Treaty. Arma Reforger this game is set in the authentic Cold War. You are fighting against two incredible islands, namely Everon and Arland. You will fight in multiplayer game mode conflict or create your own scenario in Game Master, a real-time editor where anything can be happened. Foxhole Foxhole is a cooperative sandbox massively multiplayer action strategy video game developed and published by the Canadian video game company CGCam. The world here is inspired by the war of the early 20th century. In the game, you will enjoy either of the two functions, the colonial or the warden. You have to move the economy in the game by using tools such as hammer, sledgehammer, or harvester. In order to gather raw resources, then put them into a refinery to be processed into basic material. These basic materials are then used to produce everything that the factions will use in battle, including weapons, ammunition, fortresses, and vehicles. Angola 86 
Angola 86 is a strategy game that captures the essence of the entire South African border war from Omugulu Gwombes to Untak, where you fight for two amazing islands. In Angola 86, counterinsurgency operation are paramount, gathering intel, tracking the insurgents, and destroying their bases in Angola play a critical role. Door Kickers 2 Door Kickers 2 is a top-down strategy and tactic games about using intelligence assets and controlling special operation units in daring raids to neutralize and capture terrorists in the fictional country of now hierarchy Middle East. The game is still in early access on Steam. Developers plan to involve the community in their development process through Discord and Steam forums. Total War Empire Definitive Edition I like most Total War games, but the Empire stands out to me. I enjoy the heroic time period. The Definitive Edition includes all DLC and features updates since the game release. It offers hundreds of hours of absorbing gameplay and every bit of content made for the game. The game introduces a host of revolutionary new features, including true 3D naval combat. I think this is one of the most playable, important, and accomplished game ever created. Wargame Red Dragon In Wargame Red Dragon, you are engaged in a large-scale conflict where the Western force clash against the communist bloc. You command the military resources of all 17 nations involved, assembling your fighting force from the phenomenal selection of 1,450 units that have been meticulously reproduced from their source. Wargames always been an RTS with greater focus and force composition and positioning rather than micromanagement. That belling that you typically see in StarCraft or Command and Conquer does not work here. Your force have to be spread out, ready to support each other, and be able to take their objective on the map. Combat is very realistic, and judgment range seem plausible where a marine can only see and fire up to 10 feet in front of him. Panzer Corps 2 the game is set in the European theater of the Second World War. It allows you to play for every major power in the European theater of the Second World War. You can unleash over a whopping 1,000 unique different units on your enemies. The best part of this game so far are the DLC campaigns and the meticulously researched historical campaign path. The characters, the units, the stories, it is immersive and adds a lot of right flavor to the game. And as I said, they are very very well, tough, and realistic. I fully recommend it if you are a fan of turn-based strategy war games with realism. ...which has been appreciated by millions of players over the years, brought to a whole new level of refinement up to the latest technical standards. Hold Fast Nation at War Hold Fast Nation at War is an online multiplayer first and third person shooter game set during the Great Napoleonic Era and World War I. It focuses on a combination of teamwork and individual skill. You can take part in historic classes on land and at the sea wages by the most powerful nations. The game allows you to charge into battle with over 150 players per server. Playing this game with friends is one of the greatest video experiences I have had the pleasure of having. The low-effort roleplay over the global mix creates the perfect game environment. Naval battles and sieges are the best part of the game. <laughs>